Hey everyone, hello, welcome to Autogefühl, this is Thomas and today we are looking at the Opel Cascada it's a new Opel convertible and I must say, just to take it at the very start, I really like it and one main reason is the excellent design let's look at it we're starting at the front and we see like very small detail shapes which are very consequent lines and make a very sporty atmosphere and what about the color? Do you like the color? Thumbs up if you like the color. I really like it because finally a brand has managed to create a blue color which is not as dark as black or as a very dark green or whatever. It's a bright blue but not a baby blue. Here in between I got the windows opened. It's also very, you know, very small here and that creates another very sporty atmosphere. We recognize that the back headlamps are kind of similar as the front lamps and that also fits in the in the design concept that you see a resemblance between front and the back. One more to mention is the very nice alloy wheels. We see here it's dual color. We see the silver here and the dark on the inside. It's also a nice design element. And now, well, it's not sunny today, but it's not raining, so what do you do with a convertible? Did you count the seconds? You can see it in the video line below. I didn't count. But I, I think it was pretty fast. So when you're driving the car, what do you see? You see the interior. So let's look at it. You first see the seats here. This is the leather option. And it's, um, it's rather stiff. It's hard leather. You could argue, okay, I want very soft leather to sit on, but especially for the convertible, in my opinion, this rather hard leather is very good because you don't sweat on it so much. And I especially love the steering wheel. There's two reasons. First one, this here, the structure, this perforated structure feels very nice to handle. And the second reason is this one here, like the cutoff at the lower end. Let's go. See? Rear camera in here. It's very good for the handling. Back you have to pull up here. Back menu transmission one up to six gears. This is uh, the petrol engine, 1.6 liters. It's a new Opel petrol engine which is supposed to be very efficient. This one here is 170 horsepower. Now we were driving about 60, 70 and it felt very good to drive with the open top. So that's pretty much okay. I got the windows lowered down. So because every convertible is very different at how, how, how speed you can drive it and still have it open without flying away, you know. As for the comfort, you must say uh, you have two options. We see it here in the front. We can just leave it like a normal and then we got tour, which makes it more comfortable. And we have sport. A little bit more feedback. So depending on what you like, you can just choose. In a normal mode, it's more, it's more comfortable. So if you like sporty driving, you should definitely put in a sport mode.
you have seen a very smooth technology for the roof. And as a last bit, we'll look at the trunk. Because such a convertible should always like be fitting for your everyday life. And now this was kind of the option as the roof was opened, you see here. And you know the height is just put like a camera back. But it goes very very oh I can all only almost touch it. No, it's very very far. But now let's see if I can make this one. Push it here. You see, push it around, and so when the roof is closed, you get a very wide space in the back there. So, I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye bye, folks.